Hey everybody, in front of you, you see something attractive, something smart, clever, and, and, and well, well packaged as well. In fact, you could say, it's a beautiful PC case. Uh, well, yeah, and it's somewhat dubious designer. Um, welcome to this video. This is a uh, custom case with some components that you can see here reasonably spec for my office work ma mainly i built this half a year ago already so it's a little outdated but still more than good enough i'm the weak link in the productivity chain we'll have a look at it in this video some of the other specs are it's about 11.9 liters so that's pretty compact you can fit an sfx l uh, power supply but it's a bit small so i would go with sfx Reasonably tall coolers fit and you don't need the super small uh, like SFX 170 mil GPUs You can go a bit longer and I've installed a fan for the cooling of the GPU Which we will see you can even fit a couple of uh, drives in there So this is like a new uh, thing for me going a bit more serious with uh, sheet metal Lots of bands is all a single part So uh, yeah as always with my uh, the stuff I design, I do not build. I leave I leave the building to uh, the experts who can actually, you know, work the machines and get the results. So lots of uh, builds, square holes, uh, round holes, uh, hexagonal holes, bends, angles, that sort of stuff. So this is really a good test for me to go more 3D. I, I am used to 2D sort of sheet metal, but not really the third dimension. It came out really well, and uh, I'm very pleased with how this looks, so uh, fewer parts. <laughs> Next is the mainboard tray, uh, and my camera skills are uh, amazing. No, none over exposure here at all. Again, quite a few bends, some strengthening uh, things, bend over to uh, add strength to the mainboard area. Some cutouts for the PCI uh, slots there, a dual slot card. Some holes again uh, for zip ties and stuff like that to do cable management. So let's hope it all works uh, out well. It's uh, here you see some cage nuts that we use to actually mount a lot of the panels together. And front audio and USB. It's handy. Hard to find actually. So one of these things you can take them apart and install them in your uh, custom case. So now we'll uh, have the build uh, but increased in speed by quite a bit and video quality is not that high so let's just uh, talk over it then there's a custom uh, made cable for uh, the on off switch which also has a blue led uh, nice uh, heat shrink and all that sort of stuff custom connector at the end so we can plug it straight into the main board here we are using the standoffs and just messing about with that you can see the size of the noctua cooler it's pretty large it's about as big as the main board and I got this SketchUp drawing uh, years ago in 2015 when I did my previous uh, case. So check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And it had uh, the dimensions of all the uh, ATX, ITX, micro ATX, all that sort of stuff. So I had a good 3D drawing to go with the, the cutout for the IO shield and GPU and that sort of stuff. Here we're just sort of putting things in and getting a bit worried where all the cables uh, have to go it's it's tight but you can see i'm working on the case while it's fairly open that's how i try to design it so you can always access the front the side and my increasingly bald head uh, so it wasn't as bad uh well let's let's say it this way i hoped this would be a very pleasant build but there goes the corsair power supply by the way which is amazing Overspec 600 watts, but that means it's passively cooled until 200 something, which we don't really reach. Anyway, the plan was to have this like a pleasure to build ITX case. Well, they don't exist, but it was quite reasonably acceptable to work on. Of course, you have to mess with the cables and the zip ties, but it being so open made it a lot easier to work on. And uh, I would actually do that again, actually. So yeah, not too bad. Here you can see the front you know on the right it's very open so it's very accessible there is room for cable management on the back and I'm already doing some some zip ties here to uh, to help that along it's not a lot of space there but I think we can get most of the stuff in and it's, it's just really slowly uh, coming together uh, so painstakingly routing all the cables and uh, making sure it's really tidy on the mainboard side which is quite 
you know you can leave a bunch of cables there but in, in a case like this that's that tends to bite you in in, in the butt here we see those rubber uh, fan mounts that I really lo love I bought them in like a, a hundred pack or something uh, five or six years ago and I'm currently installing them incorrectly but I've eventually I think I've fixed yeah this is good so these soft mount uh, the fan which is uh, going to cool the GPU uh, the GPU fans will be removed and in order to adapt that 140 millimeter fan to the actually quite small uh, heatsink on the MSI Fantas 1660 GTX. Uh, I made sort of a funnel that goes from 140 to the shape of the heatsink. This is kind of a prototype because I didn't have high expectations, but it turned out to fit, well, <laughs> you'll see later, acceptable for now. So this channels the air, uh, which would otherwise miss the heatsink. It forces it over the heatsink fins and it, we get a lot better cooling that way. Uh, but it's a lot of uh, sketching and uh, sort of origami but at bending and all that stuff I don't really do this arts and crafts stuff enough so it's not that precise but since my hopes were so low I figured let's just make it crudely and see how it works and it turned out to be acceptable enough and more importantly uh, I was running out of time so I had to stick with it and it's in there and it's mostly passively cooled the GPU at low loads these modern CPUs and GPUs compared to like 10 20 years ago they're so efficient so here I'm uh, putting it in, seeing if it works. Kind of seems to work, and I think you may spot something in a f in the next little moment that points to a mistake. But hey, so more assembly work, fiddling with the with that fan adapter, that that funnel. It uh, was a bit messy, but you can see it goes right to the the heatsink fins, right? It doesn't block them completely, so it guides the air onto the heatsink, and then it comes out the sides. And you see it's a little warped. Uh, yeah, you know, not enough time. It's proof of concepts, you, you could argue, and that means it will be in there for the next five years. And on the, on the side as well, you can see how far uh, the air would sort of blow on the side instead of on the heatsink so this is quite a sharp angle forcing the air to go to the heatsink of the gpu this really helps uh, give us enough cooling performance with a reasonably slow spinning uh, fan although i do tend to lower the uh, tdp in, in msi afterburner a little bit because i do a little bit of cat and a little bit of gaming but really nothing on this system and you get quite a small performance hit and there's a 970 evo ssd of course in there zip ties it's all fairly neat. I think this might even go together, uh, he says, optimistically. But anyway, uh, lower the TDP of your graphics card, you can really lose a lot of heat without affecting performance too much. That's my custom front uh, power LED uh, connector there with heat shrink. Reasonably nice. You can also see how tight the fit is with the USB, front USB cables. Really had to bend them over. They just miss the fan. It's really close. I it's, it's fine, but it's one of those things with this Noctua cooler with the fan has to be mounted below the cooler. Otherwise it won't quite fit. It might be really snug against the side. And here we have the top. I um, mounted the PSU here, fan facing upward, but it's passively cooled even when I'm hitting it with uh, a game and full like synthetic load. And now the, the, the sand, no, it's not sand blasted. This glass bead blasted front goes on. It, it has sort of a metallic shiny sexiness that is really hard to uh, to film but it's really cute so the rest is all just stain stainless steel not uh, treated uh, deburred but not treated and this is deburred and then blasted with tiny uh, glass particles and you get a, an amazing finish that's really hard to uh, to come uh, to, to, to sort of convince you about in a video but it looks looks really sexy one of the things you saw uh, with the front panel not on, we already had the front USB audio and also the on-off button installed because I figured there's no way we can get that in properly uh, when we've added the front panel, right? So that's just going to be too tight. So that means the power button is recessed. That's a little awkward, but otherwise, well, in hindsight, I think I could have made like a four pin connector so I could do it uh, later. Here are some shots. Nice logo, adds 200 FPS, minimum. 
Here the vented side for the CPU cooler and top as well. Here the I.O. It's really snug fit. Yeah, the recessed power button. That's something I, I would do different, but hey. And the side shot with the vent, it sort of follows the shape of uh, the case. The front, which is closed except for the logo. And the other side, a little bit of venting just in case some air decides to go in or out is fine. And that's the back, so this is not uh, blasted, this is just pure uh, stainless steel. And the top, with a nice sort of uh, darf, what is it, something... Ooh, ooh, yeah, amazing panning shot from your professional videographer. Oh, and that's my, uh, the speakers I designed, but I'll show you that later. So in, uh, in summary then, it's really good, it runs passively almost mostly all the time. As you can see here, the, the power supply is great. Uh, GPU doesn't get a lot of load, it's fine. It looks very smart on my desk, and that's why I did it. I'm an engineer at the office. Uh, I like to have that desk uh, to be clean, but also show that I'm an engineer. So that's why I designed this case to go on my office desk, uh, together with some cool prints on the wall, uh, that sort of show that I'm uh, an engineer, and uh, it sort of highlights sort of my, my work. And it's a lot of fun to do. It's been quite educational with uh, sheet metal work. Learned a lot about that. And the results are, uh, are there. It's really uh, silent and uh, it works quite, quite well. Um, so I think that's about it. So thanks for watching this. Um, apologies for all the, uh, well, the intro, obviously. Let's, uh, this is the round of apologies. Can be a long one. And of course, the exposure and stuff. I'm, I'm, you know, getting some respect for the people who do uh, tech channels on YouTube, because if you want to do the lighting and the focus and the, f and the shots and the framing, it, it almost sounds like a job and I already have another job. So I did this uh, a little bit quickly. Thanks for watching. Anyway, leave your comments and uh, suggestions, uh, whatever, in the, down in the doobly-doo. Check you later. Bye-bye.